At Oakland Military Institute, I used to teach Mandarin Chinese and math. During my classes, I would often use technology to aid students in their learning. As learning today has expanded online, it has redefined who is in our learning communities. I wanted to ask the question today, is it possible to completely learn a language online? And if so, what are some of the benefits and disadvantages? Language resources do you use online to study? I use ThaiLanguage.com. Mm. It has its own resources, dictionary, and courses that you can take to learn Thai, the alphabet. So you're able to put more effort and time into learning it. One of the disadvantages is you're not really able to interact with somebody to understand exactly how to pronounce words or right. the syllables. One of the purported disadvantages to learning a language online is the lack of face-to-face -face interaction with native speakers. However, with SharedTalk.com, you can Skype native speakers in their country and conduct a language exchange all completely through this online portal. often look at the four aspects of second language acquisition, speaking, reading, writing, and listening. As we will see in the course of this video, all of these can be conducted online. However, is this really the proper or correct method to learn a language? While there may be no easy answer, it is without a doubt that in today's technology advanced society, it is easier than ever to do. With ThinkU.com, you can read articles in your targeted learning language tailored specifically to your skill level. Marking words that you do not know will reveal an in-website dictionary with pronunciation ensuring you comprehend the meaning and sounds of each word. In a traditional classroom setting, answers to academic questions are responded to by the classroom teacher. However, as a student expressed in the previous video clip, what happens if an online student has a question? Who does he student do for an answer? Well, with the advent of Web 2.0 and peer-to-peer -peer services, every user has a contribution to online content these days. For practicing writing, Lang8.com makes use of the mass of native speakers around the world to correct your written content. You can post a paragraph, story, or a few sentences in a language, say Japanese, which you are practicing, and native speakers will correct your grammar and spelling. In return, you can correct someone, i.e. an English learner from Japan, who has mistakes and trouble with typing in English. In this way, the mutually beneficial system ensures that both sides learn from each other in a constructive and productive manner. Personal experience from them, because if you're talking to just a computer, you wouldn't have like a personal you know, relationship. To address the previous student's valid concern about practicing with a real person face to face as opposed to a computer, we turn to conversationexchange.com. This portal matches those fluent in one language with those fluent in another. With a wide online community, it's easy to find real language exchange partners who live in the same city that you do. You're going to be able to do it. Sure. Not everybody will be able to do it, and you have to have the, the person that does it. I mean, it could be like on an online class mm -hmm. where you get directed to like where the next step is, oh, okay. where you know where you might go next. As a Spanish teacher expresses, some students with only beginning competency may need a more step-by-step -step approach and a more structured learning environment. In the past few years, many free and open online courses have popped up, one of which is Coursera. Not only can you learn from professors all around the world, you can also hear their college level language lectures in, say, Chinese with English subtitles. If you aren't ready to learn or demonstration chemistry taught in Chinese, however, you can still take a complete course directed for those with beginning level language skill. One alarming trend is reliance on technology to write and type, thus eliminating the need for many to remember how to write complex characters in script. This is akin to English language learners forgetting how to spell words or form proper grammatical sentences due to spell check and autocorrect. Is it acceptable for online learning to gradually replace or reduce our reliance on traditional learning methods? With so many different ways to learn, what is the best way to acquire foreign language fluency? If you really enjoy the culture or something about the language that you want to learn, it really helps and it gives you that inspiration to learn it. So that that is my driving force. Uh. So 
it depends on whatever you like about the language that would drive you to it. Since online learning is not without flaw, learners need to strike a balance of traditional classroom instruction combined with their own online supplemental independent study.